The Edge Morning Madhouse. The boat that rocked uh, comes out in the cinemas next Thursday. Love the music. Reese. just quickly before we find a winner, can you remember the first album you bought? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was um, uh, Bon Jovi. Slippery When Wet? No, no, no. The one with Bad Medicine, New Jersey. Really? Wow. Yeah, that was the first CD. That was the first CD I bought. I uh, actually bought, um, like on vinyl, I got. I remember I got uh, Hit Busters 80, <laughs> 82 or something. <laughs> They were big, oh, really? though, 84, ones? it might yeah. have been, yeah. yeah. Or was it Busters? Or was it awesome. Trackman 84? I remember having Trackman 84. Trackman 84, <laughs> yeah. With the rock steady crew on. So mine had Ghostbusters on it. That's why it was called ah, Headbusters. Ah, nice. Oh. So whenever that came out. <laughs> so I think yeah. I was about foot loose about then, yeah. And the other thing Loves is, it. in the movies, how much of the script do you stick to? Did you ad lib a lot or is it word for word? Um, I It was mostly word for word, but I added... Um, a, a, Near the at the end, when there's a, I won't without giving away the movie. Um, you know, something pretty full on happens, and uh, I had lib something at the very, at the end there when. Uh Cause there's one, there's one. There's <laughs> can't give it away without much, saying yeah, what it is. Yeah. There's, there's, but you'll say it's the best line in the movie, I think. Really? Nice. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to say there's the, the line for me that was the best line in the movie was uh, one where you say something like, um, "How are you going to f your way out of this one?" Oh yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. That's, that's, that's it. it. Oh, yeah. That's a good well, one. Talk nice yourself work. up, Darby. That is the best <laughs> line of the movie. Yeah. Um, anyway, Chris is on the phone. Morning, Chris. Morning. You're a big fan of Reese Darby and his work. Yes, I am. Did you see him in? Did you see him in? Um, yes, man. Uh, yes, I did actually. Do you? Oh, cool. um, yeah. And did Quite you, the movies? And you watched <laughs> him in Fly the Concords? Um, yes, and second season. My brother download, downloaded it for me. Oh, that's so oh. naughty. You're such a naughty. Right, give us your address, please. We're going to be uh, coming around to uh, arrest you. And tonight you're going to hug you first and then arrest you. Tonight you are going along to the premiere of The Boat That Rocked and you're going to have a little bit of VIP treatment like Reese is getting right now. Wow. At oh, the, really? At wow. the La Premiere Lounge you'll get some nibbles just and drinks. Just to let you know, I've got a small biscuit with a bit of salmon and camembert <laughs> on right now. Just about to eat it. Mmm. Imagine that. That could be you. That could be you tonight. Well, being, being, being eaten by Reese Darby. Oh, and, oh, no, you wouldn't be the biscuit. Oh, no. And um, Chris will also give you a signed poster that Reese has signed for you. Oh, can um, he put my name on it as well? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Mm, no problem. Oh, if, if he puts your name on it, it's going to be hard. Just you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. It's got my name on it. We better get the oh, spelling. Right. <laughs> is, is there any fancy spelling to your name? Oh, this is K-H-R-I-U. What? <laughs> Just um, like boy Chris with a K in, in the beginning. Right, I see. No, K H R I S. So that's yes, quite perfect. fancy. Mm, nice right. work. Well, have a good time tonight. Uh, I will. Thanks. Yeah, since she's been downloading the show on Searcher before she comes into the movie because she's got a camera. <laughs> Don't bring your handy cam <laughs> yeah, with you. That's right. <laughs> now, now Reese, the, um, the the poster for the movie, there's um, nine faces on yours as one of them. This must be immensely proud for you because obviously, yeah. Yeah, yes, man, you went on the poster. <laughs> no. fly, fly, fly. <laughs> My first poster. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got got one framed hanging up somewhere? No, I haven't, but um, I will. I will get one. Yeah, I'll put one straight in the pool room. Brilliant. Just yeah. need to get the pool room. <laughs> hey, we love it when a Kiwi does well, and one who's probably struggled for years and years and years. Then all of a sudden, the last you know five years. Peak. No, we well, know. Unbelievable. You know what I mean? Comedy. Struggled. People, I've never struggled. People in this country are doing comedy. You know, yeah. live from payday to payday, wondering when the next yeah, no, gig you're is. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I, I, I had some pretty low lows, um, but you've just got to keep rocking. You know, in your mind. And on the boat that rocks, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is the new movie, which is out on Thursday. It stars Reese Darby, who is in studio now. Are there any plans for you to do like a nationwide tour of New Zealand at some point? Um, I'd love to. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, I've taken a bit of time off stand up now, and I'm going to write a whole new show, and then and then I will do a New Zealand tour. So I'll probably say uh, probably next year. Brilliant, that'd be so good. Yeah. Sweet. Now, um, Reese, this morning you may have heard about the you know the tax cuts come into effect today. Oh and yeah, yeah. Anyone earning over fifty thousand dollars gets five thousand bucks in their bank account. Do mm. you get paid through your New Zealand bank account? Yeah, I do. Well, I, I pay tax in this country and not others, so uh, I'm in that bracket. So, so I've been you, absolutely I, I, I'm, wrapped. I'm yeah. guessing you just Cheers. squeak into that threshold. Yeah, I do. So, but the five thousand, what I'm actually doing, I feel a bit guilty about it. So, I'm actually giving mine to a charity. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice of you. Well, you know, I don't need it. <laughs> so, uh, there's a beautiful. It's actually a girl's name. She is. She's called Charity. She's a prostitute. Right. She's, um, K. Rowe, and, uh, 
<laughs> you know, I felt good. Yes, I used to do things with her in the past, and uh, she was, it's a bit of a pretty woman sort of scenario. Is, uh, <laughs> although she's quite hideous. So, but uh, she's well off now. And you're finally going to be in credit. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Well, um, I know you've got to go shortly, uh, but before you do, I think we have to bring out the green bucket. How many times have we had you in our studios? Is this is number About four, four five times? Yeah. And we, have we done the bucket of hard questions with you before? No, I don't think so. I haven't seen it. Right. Oh, well, these are just a, an assortment of questions. You just need to reach and grab, a, grab questions out, read them out, then answer them. Okay, right. Well, here's the first one. Uh, <laughs> how old were you when you lost your V plates? Okay, well, first of all, I'll need to know what V-plates are. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, so stupid. Virginity. All right. What? Are you like, serious? Yeah. I've never heard it called that. I'm from Pekaranga. <laughs> uh, I was 19. Were you? Yeah. Oh, that's a late starter, isn't it? From yes, well, I'm a very, very late to mature. I was mm. still playing with matchbox cars when I was 19, <laughs> and a girl said, why don't you play with me? I said, oh, yeah, what model are you? <laughs> I said, I'm not a model. And uh, we did it. I felt awkward, and um, but we're married now. Aww. No, no, it wasn't her, actually. Aww. Of course I've experienced with ladies. Um, but 19, you know. No, 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 19. That's the age of the average um, war soldier <laughs> who lost their V-plate. <laughs> <laughs> next. Next. Uh, Bucket of hard uh, questions with Reece Darby. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, is the global recession stressing you out? <laughs> It isn't. Next. <laughs> okay. Uh, More champagne, sir? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's the worst thing about being you? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess being uh, led everywhere and having my brain slowly sucked out of my head um, <laughs> by, you know, not knowing what's going on. But apart from that, I mean, I think that's quite funny. I just need to put a bit more effort into actually working out what I'm doing each day. Uh, apart from that, <laughs> that's it. Really? You've got to be happy with who you are and how you look and all the rest of it. Otherwise, you know, you might as well not be alive. R- reaching in again it's for a, another it's one. It's a message for your young kids. <laughs> Andy, he's busy. Why. Stop feeding him food. Yeah, oh, I have one of those apricots, actually. <laughs> Ten years from now, where will you be? Well, I'll, I'll probably be... Uh, Retired. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I'll be in Queenstown in my in my villa. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm basically I'm I'm going to buy Sam Neill's uh, vineyard and take it over and yep. uh, turn it into a, um, a fun park <laughs> or Derby Land, <laughs> and uh, that's where we'll be. There'll be hydro slides. It'll be like Parakai, basically, except uh, or um, or have a little roller coasters and a, and a ghost. Ghost house, you know, hall of mirrors. Mm. It'll be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you do understand people could draw comparisons between <laughs> that and Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, going back to the other one, I've got to rethink about what I'm doing each day, really. And, uh, <laughs> hey, Reese, we know you have to get going, and I know you really don't want to leave here because, hey, where are you going to get this kind of service anywhere else today? I oh, know, never. Uh, so, one more from the bucket. Yeah, one more go. from the bucket. Okay, here we go, here we go. Who is the average Reese Derby groupie? Wow. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, is it mainly guys or girls? Uh, probably. Probably. A mixture of both, really. I'd say um, more like a sort of a, a 15 to 30 year old sort of hermaphrodite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, someone who's, yeah, there's no, there's, I mean, I'd, I'd love to say, you know, sexy 20 year old girls, but that wouldn't be right because that would, uh, you know, it's, it's mainly older men. No, I don't know. I absolutely don't know the answer to that. I'd say um, uh, me. <laughs> you. I'm my best groupie. Yeah, oh. so, yeah that's Brilliant. important. Yeah. Right. The yeah. boat that rocked. Is opening next Thursday, and Reese Darby is in it. It's a huge movie. It's Check got some it major stars oh. in it, oh, Reece including Darby. Kenneth Branagh as well. Watch me do a great st- couple of great stunts, actually. I mean, yes. Yes. In walking s- into the pole. <laughs> That's a good one. Scenario. And the, off the side as well. And was that actually throwing you? off a, a, a big mm. boat? Yeah, right, into the ocean. One. Yeah, yeah, good man. And you do a couple of your famous sound effects too. I know. Yes, yes. So it's about <laughs> pirate radio, and you're a DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a great story. It's a great movie. So check it out. Good luck with that. Thank you very much. Yeah, you are the bloke that rocked. <laughs> oh, God. See what I did there? You're too nice to me. Can nice. I take this food with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, a lot of these grapes are it. off, just quietly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the butler, Reese Darby and the movie The Boat That Rocked opens in cinemas on Thursday. You should go and see it. It's a great yarn about how radio, especially commercial radio, started and probably a story not many of you would know. So it's very relatable. Go and see it. Base Hunter, all I ever wanted, 27 tonight. Thanks, Reese. Thank you. The Each Morning Madhouse.